Here are the laser marking sprays I'll be using along with the price. Hello, in this video I'm testing four different laser marking sprays on stainless steel. First I'm cleaning the surface with 91% isopropyl alcohol. I could not find any videos on YouTube showing the difference in these marking sprays, so I decided to record this test. Sorry for the poor quality, I am not a YouTuber. Here I am dividing out four quadrants that I'll be using to, for the different sprays. The divider is just 3D printed PLA that I had laying around and printed a divider. First it's going to be Brilliance uh, laser marking spray, then Surmark and then dry molly lube i've seen some reports on the internet about using that and then this is omtech black laser marking spray all of these i found on amazon here it is after i've sprayed them and you can see them drying i did two coats on every single side every single quadrant so just to make it all equal as you can see, it's drying. The Ohm Tech was the thickest, and that's why you can kind of see that it's still, still drying. It goes on very thick, like a thick spray paint. Uh, but it's about 100 degrees here in Texas, so outside they dry very quickly. I do need to preface this by saying that I received this laser two days before filming this and I have very little experience with lasers. Also this is a 10 watt X2 D1 laser. Uh, here are the specs, the settings that I used uh, for doing this test. Varying speeds between 20 millimeters per second to 60 millimeters per second and power between 40% and 100%. So let's get started here. By the way, this is 22 gauge stainless steel that we're working with. Um, I bought about 10 sheets of it, uh, one foot by one foot square so that I could do some tests to find out what the best laser marking spray was as well as my layout of the products that I'll be making with this. Something I found very interesting uh, doing this test was the differences in sound and reaction between the different sprays and the metal. As you can see here, that the Ceramark has a sparks coming off of it. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but it was, it was just very interesting to see. Um, none of the other ones did that, although the uh, Dry Molly Lube was very pungent smelling when it would burn and uh, did not feel safe smelling that. So I so was very glad I was outside, but everything else um, seemed to do fine. So the two white sprays, the Ohm Tech and the Brilliance, um, made the least amount of noise, uh, didn't have any sparks, and didn't have any smell when, when burning. I did have to put down some magnets on here. The metal was starting to warp, um, as we will see the on the Ceramark part. Uh, I'll show you here in a minute that uh, it was starting to warp, and so it had changed the focus of the laser. But here it is so far. 
Um, you can start to see the very top of the is darker, and that's where the those light spots is where the metal has started to bend up and was losing focus. So, yeah. And here it is finishing up. As you can see, everything's been marked in this grid pattern. And the dry molly is not looking very great, but we will see once we wash everything off what everything looks like. And here's before we take it off. Just looking at the different squares. Those all look fairly uniform on Omtech. The Saramark, again, it had that, that warping, but even after we corrected the warping, there was definitely still some there in the lower power ranges that, that didn't look like they were marking completely. And then um, this is the Brilliance. And again, you can still see that kind of line there at the 40 mark. And here I am going to take it off the build plate and then take it out in the bright sun so we can kind of get a better look at, at what's happening here. And again, you kind of see that Saramark uh, kind of chipping away in the low power ranges. But the Ohm Tech and the Brilliance looks looks pretty good. Uh, just kind of looking at the the layer lines, the kind of how that cross patching works. And again, you see that a difference at the 40. Um, but yeah. So next step, we're going to wash this off. All right, here we are in the sink and we're going to spray it off with some water, just normal hot water. Um, as you can kind of see here, uh, the white is washing away and then you see the black on the Surtec, Surmark is washing away, but not the dry molly. It, uh, it kind of stays on there. And we will see that in just a second <clears throat> as we try and scrub it off. It's uh, it sticks on. It's it's not very it's not very good for trying to actually get it off. So see it's it doesn't rub off. Just the just the markings there at sixty started to rub off. I think I think dry molly already is a failure. So it's probably not great. And then we're gonna try to scrub some of this off. Show you how hard it is to get this get that off. It's like it stains the stainless steel. Um, it's really really difficult to get off. And then this is just a regular kitchen sponge. It's taking some of that Surmark off. Again, it's a higher higher speeds with lower powers. It kind of just comes off. Now we're scrubbing here the brilliance, and again that that forty-ish um, speed uh, kind of comes off. I think that's because of the warping of the plate that we already talked about. But everything even above that seems to be holding pretty well here we're going to scrub on that ohm tech one and see how that does it looks like one of them is coming off but uh, overall this one's holding on pretty well as well. I'm really, really impressed with both the Ohm Tech and the Brilliance. But let's take it outside and see what it looks like. And here we are outside uh, in the sun, trying to get a good look at how this worked out. Again, the the Ohm Tech held up pretty well. Um, again, the higher powers are probably the darkest. 
uh, and didn't scrub off at all. So that's it's really good. Those lower powers definitely had some some spotting. So yeah, I think the higher powers are definitely definitely best. Uh, here's just kind of a good good look at all of it. Trying to and then there's the brilliance. Again, those those lower powers definitely had some uh, issues, but and then the the warping there in the middle caused that that forty line to have some issues. But overall, the brilliance looks pretty good. This Sir Mark um, had a lot of spotting, even at even at high powers, um, you know, low speeds and high powers. It did did fine, but the looks like the brilliance is definitely better in my opinion. Since the Ohm Tech and the Brilliance did so well, I want to run another test um, with power of both um, 70 to 100 and then also speed of 60 to 100. And so here's that setup right here. And here it is lasering. Um, so we're going to see how that does. <clears throat> my hopes were to get to around 50 or 60 millimeters per second um, and I feel like it's exceeded that already so let's see how this does and see what we can get to so hopefully hopefully uh, a good amount of speed and here it is finishing up and we didn't have any warping this time I think the higher speeds and as well as the magnets definitely helped uh, keep it flat uh, as you can see, everything seems like it got dark, so we will take it, wash it off, uh, as well as look through it on the sun. And here we're taking it out in the sun just before we wash it off, see, see if we can see anything. Again, looks like it's pretty, pretty well covered. We're not seeing any obvious spots. Um, and it is very bright out today so getting a little bit again the the ohm tech goes on fairly thick so i think that's why you're seeing some of those differences uh kind of looks like some wavy lines uh, i think it's because it goes on so thick it's kind of like spray paint and here we are inside gonna wash it off see how it came out again the the Ohm Tech and the Brilliance wash off pretty easily uh, with just some just some hot water, um, as you can see. Looks like everything's sticking so far, but we will scrub it and see if we can get anything to come off. So far, nothing. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so. It's a little, little difficult, but it is really staying on there. It almost looks like the, the 100 millimeters per second is doing better than the uh, previous test, um, with both Brilliance and and Ohm Tech. Um, I don't see any problems so far with, with either of these. And here we are outside, and let's take it out of the sun, see see what it looks like. Again, it's it's really good. The, maybe the 70% power is, is not fantastic, but um, even in direct sunlight, it's, it's really hard to tell the difference between the lower speeds and the higher speeds. Um, really not any spotting it's very very thick um, and I did use a 0 0.08 millimeter um, interval uh, so that it would have a little bit of overlapping or a, yeah so it, it's really it's really quite impressive so let's try another test Okay, here we are testing again. Uh, I ramped up the speeds quite a bit. 
Uh, so now it's 110 to 200 uh, is the spa speeds. Uh, just for reference, on these last two tests, I used one coat of the spray instead of two coats. Um, again, the OMTAC goes on a lot thicker than the Brilliance, but they both seem to be working well. As you will see, the, both of these really did a great job. It actually then started, to, the issue started to be the laser. It was moving back and forth so fast that the edges actually started to um, f almost fray out. You get, you get some lines that were too far apart. Um, like they would stop stop further than the box on one side and then same on the other side so it really wasn't the the spray that failed it was really laser um just those speeds were too high for the laser i didn't i don't think i actually got a shot of of what i was what i'm talking about but as you can see as we spray this off it'll all still be relatively black um very dark color so actually both the brilliance and the ohm tech work very well uh, for my purposes i'm actually going to end up with the ohm tech just i like the the thicker spray i've i've tried it on some parts and the brilliance it just didn't get an even coat uh, as easily so i ended up just going with ohm tech Hope this helps you and thank you for watching.